We back. Real talk. Volume nine. And sports. Let's go. Man. Get familiar. Subscribe. Follow. And listen. We back, folks. Mm. I know y'all heard that new Woo-hoo. Drizzy. That Sweet 10 man. bands. Oh, man. Man, I've been, this, it's been on repeat, man. Volume nine, man. Man, man, we, we here. We back, folks. We here, that new Took Drizzy, a, this man. new Drizzy. <laughs> so much. This Drizzy, man, six six guys. That jungle. That album is the that, best album that of new the year. Drizzy, man. That yeah. You know, if man, you're reading that, this, it's you, too late. You might you might want to check. You that gotta out. check that out. Uh, that that big, Drake. That big shine. That big shine. Yeah. Oscar Paradise. Yeah. Hmm. To Janelle Cool. Shout out, Janae. I love you. Yeah. If you're watching this, again, you can follow us on the Twitter at yeah. RTN Sports. You can do that. You definitely, you, you, you might want to do that. We got the podcast, you too. You might want to follow. You know what it is. We- Real Talk and Sports.Libson.com. All the shows, this show, all the previous shows, the app is coming. Hey, I'm trying to tell you, y'all better get with it. Telling them, telling y'all, because we not going you nowhere. Get with it now. We not going nowhere. We told you should have got with it. You ain't get with it. Then we gonna we get, get with it. Gonna, then when we get big, then you gonna be you trying to be out it. right? And then don't do that to you. So. I mean, we like you said, we bring us ep- we bringing these episodes with everybody. Like this, is the real right here. We giving y'all a real talk it's from the, the streets to your corporate office, we in the dungeon. to the slums, and we, and we to the it. suburbs. We out here. <laughs> We're Real talking sports, man. Real talk. So let's sports. let's finish, let's get into it. Let's talk about the Powerball. Guess we might as well start with the real talk, huh? And man, Powerball. Marie. You know the big Holmes. Marie Holmes, twenty-six year old. Right? Yeah, there was three, three winners. winners. She was the one from North Carolina. There was a up. There was other two winners from um, Puerto Rico and Texas. Right. Like I said, you know, it's the odds of winning the lottery. It's something crazy. One in seventy one in one hundred and seventy five million folks. One in one hundred and seventy five so, million. It's a lot folks. of people that play the lotto every day and they know that. And they never win. <laughs> and they know that though. They know there's a the chance, but they just play. I mean my grandfather played every day. You they gotta play. Numbers, so, you know. Ain't nothing wrong with the numbers. Well, I should have played. Play. I mean, we all should have played. We didn't. But you we gotta should've. play. If but you don't play, lotto. you can't win. It's the lotto. But so he, let's talk about Marie for a little bit, though. Because that Marie is who the person that won here. Um, so let's talk about her. Yeah, let's talk this about her. The 26-year-old mother of four. She has a 7-year-old who suffered from uh, cerebral palsy. And um, she was working at Walmart and also, and also working at um, McDonald's. Living with her mother amongst, amongst six other people. And she won the lotto. She actually woke up scream, screaming to her kids, and they ran away. Um, they say screaming, and she she checked the numbers on Facebook. Believe it. Really? Called her father. Her father didn't believe her. She's twenty six, right? Twenty six year old. Um, again, she won one hundred and eighty eight million. But you know, we live in America. Got folks. that chop, chop. Yeah, you, know, you know, you know, um, you know, um, Uncle gotta Sam got to get his cut. Um, she, you know, when you win. Oh, winter. She took the lump sum, folks. She took the lump sum amount um, and got a hundred and twenty-seven million. Um, but after taxes, she got eighty-eight million. Mm. But that's still more than we had. So shout out to Mary Home. She's the shine of the week, folks. <laughs> she definitely get the shine of the week. Yeah, folks. shine of that, the week. One that money um, that was, you know, close to home. Uh, kind of. That was close to home. Over yeah. in Perry. Man, <laughs> over at Patty. What's what's going on with what's going on with everybody now? Okay, flying, first, flying it's all, first it's in always DC. something new. It's always this new first trend is, that first comes in along, DC. Right. So now we flying drones in places where drones don't need over military fun. museums. So, um, Alger, Alger has had an interesting year. I think they didn't had. And that they had the guy that, that um, was kidnapped um, in Australia. Yeah, had a guy right? who was kidnapped in Australia. Um, and now, three of these journalists 
got arrested for flying drones. Yeah, what's going on? In Paris. What are you doing? Why are you flying drones in Paris? Like, over military... What? What are you doing? Military buildings, what are you doing? I don't know what's going on. Was it over the base? Did they fly over the base? They they flow over the uh, military museum. Oh, the museum. But um, you're not supposed you to doing? be flying those that's, drones. I'm, I'm sure, I mean, if it's about a military museum, it's probably a no fly some government zone. building yeah. somewhere nearby. Conspiracy? <laughs> this is, uh, I mean, come on, man. Like, why, why are you flying drones? Like, that makes absolutely no sense. Fly the drone in your backyard. I mean, you know. Find somewhere else to fly the drones other than over government buildings. I mean, I don't, I'm not understanding what's wrong with you people wanting to fly fly over government buildings. Somebody, please hear me. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, speaking oh, of... Oh, ISIS, man. Same I guess we, guess old we, ISIS. We, you know, we, we, can't, we can't never forget same about ISIS. Same old ISIS. ISIS, they still, they still up to their shenanigans. ISIS, ISIS kidnapped 150 women... Not women, little girls. These girls were between 10 and 15 years old. They were leaving their exam. And they got kidnapped by by ISIS. Um, they issued with death threats, man. I mean, it's, Again, it's crazy. You know, it's I mean, serious. You know ISIS, man, when they issue with death threats, you know, you don't really... You know, it's, it's just a lot going on, man, with, with these guys, man. You know, the, the FBI. The FBI uh, arrested three dudes in New York. Three th- and then three <laughs> girls from the and UK. Three girls in the UK. Uh, like, so ISIS trying to join is ISIS. real, like, folks. What are y'all doing? Keep your head on a swivel. What are you doing? ISIS is, is real out here, Come folks. Come on, man. Join the and ISIS. that's why Obama is asking Congress, to put the axe give us $500 million so we can help the opposition get... Mr. Bashard Assad. Drop bombs on It's been three years of a bombs, civil war in Syria. That's about to happen. It's real out here, folks. Drop he, bombs on Be happy for the freedom that we have here. This is because it's, 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 it's whatever the freedom. Is. I mean, yeah. Say it. Freedom. freedom. <laughs> Anywho, my yeah, but it's crazy over there. ISIS. We always talking about them because they're always relevant. They're always up to something, you know. So, like I said. If, if Obama, we need this 500 million, and it's gonna be able to train soldiers. Um, 500 million is a lot of money. It's a half a billion dollars, but it's tax time. That's so yeah, yeah, you know, you know, you know it works for tax time. When it's tax time, uh, election um, near the uh, the the uh, the cens- end of the census, the census year for the government, like those times of the year. That's it's always money. That's when, it's, that's when it's money. They looking to spend at, at those times because they in surplus. So, you know, um, they, they you know they gonna find a way to get. You know, I'm saying government always find a way. To make always sure they, they get gonna their get their money. money. You know they gonna get their money. They gonna get their money anyway, any any way, anyhow. You know Speak, what I'm saying? Speaking of the government, the government um, though, Miss, it was. Uh, I know you guys have probably went out. There's a movie called The American Sniper. Which came out. I went to go see a great movie about Christopher Carl. They said he was the most um, prolific sniper in American history. Um, he hit about 150 targets. Well, basically, he, he got killed. He was murdered. Um, Chris Kyle, man. So, so I'm sure if you've seen American Sniper, um, I'm hoping you've seen American Sniper great by movie. now. If you haven't. What are you waiting on? Go we'll see that movie. Anyway, we're about to tell you the end of the movie. So it's too bad if you already if you haven't seen it yet. But at the end of the movie you see um Chris Kyle go out of the door. With leaving the guy, his wife and kids. Leaving his wife and kids. Um and the guy he was supposed to be helping, you know, kinda had the same situation where, you know, they you know, post traumatic they, they, stress they, syndrome. Yeah, post from um, post traumatic stress from the, the war. war and everything. So he's trying to help him out and then, you know, he never comes back. That's how the movie ends. So and pretty read. much the guy that uh, Eddie Ray Ralph that that portrayed that role, um, Eddie Ray uh, Ruth uh, Ruth or Ralph is probably Ruth, but he was found guilty in Texas yesterday. Um, yesterday for the killing, the murder, the murder. And he planted uh, ins- insanity, Mr. Chris Kyle. So I mean, he, he planted insanity. That was probably uh, he probably didn't get that. That's tough. Yeah, but he, I mean, he might he might, he might get insanity. He actually might get that. But it's actually 
you know this topic. Well, I, mean, I, I don't mean to veer off topic a little bit. But he, well, I mean, well, he found guilty. You know, he, he got same. found guilty, but at least he got a trial. My thing is, Trayvon Martin didn't get a trial. Yeah, Eric Garner didn't get a trial. My, no, Trayvon did get a trial. He he got. We're not even gonna mention his name. He got off. Anywho. Um, but it wasn't a trial. Come on, now. They still, let's be they real, still, folks. They still trying. They still, you know, uh, he got acquitted on uh, you hear about, a civil, a civil action. So. And you see, the FBI came out, and um, they're trying to the Ferguson. Yeah. Um, actually, the Department of Justice. Okay. Department of Justice. Department um, of Justice. Um, thank you, yeah, looking to um, looking to um, sue Ferguson police. Um, this, you hear know, that, folks? Too. So that's, you know, I mean, they say, you know, Darren Wilson's walking around as a free man. Wrongful, um, pretty much like segregation. Pretty yeah. much. I mean, it's like, you know, it's, I mean, you know, they say, like you say, they say it's supposed to be gone, but is it really gone? Do they, do they hide it? Uh, in some places, it's a little bit more clear than others as far as, you know, who run the, the seat, the scene. So, you know, but, um, but you know, we talking about the government, man. Uh, did you hear about Homeland Security? No, what's going on with them? So, Homeland Security, <laughs> they're um, they're actually essential people to the government okay. sector. So, they're going to possibly be working for free. Wow, nah, I ain't working gonna, for free. We need we need money. money. We need dividends. Be running out of money. Wow. Um, the, the the budget didn't really uh, they didn't budget. Nah, but we the, got money. We send we send it five hundred million uh, yeah, to Syria. I, I, I know. Right? We send it five hundred million dollars. What? To Syria. Uh, I don't know. Something. Uh, Homeland Security. I just heard about Homeland Security, so I just thought I might mention it. We don't talk about the government no more. We're going with, uh, <laughs> no drones or nothing. <laughs> So we're going we're going, we're going, we're going to leave the government stuff alone. We leave, we'll leave it alone. We want to speak. We got to give a shout out to Barack, though. Barack. I about to say, I guess we can't, yeah, we can't, we can't leave, leave the government go. alone just yet. Shout out, Barack. So, Big O. Man, Big O had a huge week. Let's talk, let's talk about Big O. Mr. His Obama, week. Barack Hussein Obama. So, Mr. Obama vetoed his first bill. Boom. We told y'all, Congress. Years. He told y'all he was going to bring y'all. the big stick down. On y'all and they and they wasn't listening. So these fools trying to pass the Keystone XL bill, right? What's that? Now let's talk about the what what the what the Keystone XL is. So the Keystone XL is a oil pipeline that comes from Canada, right? And it what it, what it was gonna do is pretty much ship oil. From Canada, but this is some of the dirtiest oil in the world that it was going to be shipping through the United States. That was what. Ooh. That was what the Keystone XL. Why would they want to do that in, in the environment? That's what it was. Haven't they learned from any of the oil spills in the Gulf? They say they, they say there's some of the dirtiest oil in the world, though. Really? They try to pass that. Right. For money, right? It's all about right, it the money. Be, it had to be for, it had to be for money. It's all about the money. Reason the hell are you passing oil you from it's Canada? It's got to be about the really? money. Really? Okay. It ain't about so, the money. Big O. My thugger says. Brings his hand down and throws it down, big man. <laughs> Vito. Nope, yeah. So that's that how, was that's no, how that's that was a no-go. No-go. That was a no-go. 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 No-go on the Vito. No-go. So, X that. So that was how he started the week. So, actually, man, he had a couple things going on. He gave a shout out to uh, Doug McMillan. Yeah, shout out if he's working for Walmart. You know, we probably have some people working for Walmart yeah. listening to this. Yeah. You'll be happy. You'll get that $10, $10 an hour starting February of 2016. So, and if y'all listening to this and y'all make more than That's that, be, be hey, thankful, folks. I mean, look, hey, I mean, be thankful for your wage. Man, if you got a job, in this economic you time, know, you can, you, if you got a job, I mean, you where, make it wherever it may be, you know what I'm saying? You if may not Walmart, have everything you I, want. I bet you, I bet you, them people at Walmart are happy as hell they got that raise. Like, you may not have <laughs> everything you, you want, but you have everything you need. Huh. 
I bet you they happy about so, that. I guarantee it. They get a raise. They That's what they work at. I know. I know they happy. Happy to get that yeah, money. I always want to get a raise. Of course. And also, what's, what's going? Well, you know what's going on? Um, so this is a wild news of the week. I just wanted to to talk about. So I'm on Twitter. Like <laughs> again, if you fo- follow us on the Twitter at RTN at Sports. RTN Sports. Again, and send, you can send us your emails at r 10 sports at email. I mean, at email at yahoo.com. Yeah. So, I mean, get familiar. Follow, yeah, get familiar. Subscribe. Follow. Follow and listen. Listen. Yeah, Mr. Tom, Mr. Thomas Stanley, you are the pine of the week. <laughs> Who is the Thomas shine, Stanley? We, I guess we should have told y'all that the shine and pine was back. Yeah. Because Marie got the shine. But we gotta put but this dude. Tom Stanley. This dude you should be ashamed of yourself, sir. On the pine. This Tom. is like the lowest of the low. This is like stealing an icy from. If you ever grew up in the hood, this is like stealing the icy from the icy lady in the hood. Tom. You just don't do that. Or the candy lady. Or oh, the candy lady. Yeah. You know they used to come around the with, the, with the, no, the, the dollar candy. the candy lady got the cheapest the, candy everything. in the world. 25 the cents, 5 cents, nickel, Reese's, everything. Quarter, you know. Twizzlers. See what you're taking. <laughs> we got to talk about Thomas Stanley, and he got arrested for domestic violence. We speak about domestic violence a little late in the second show. But um, we, basically, he was dating a 93-year-old woman, and he assaulted her. <laughs> well, I'm not laughing at the assault. I'm just laughing at people. Now, Cheers. Mr. Thomas Stanley, how old do you think he would be? In his 50s, 60s. You know, you're dating a 93-year-old woman. 93-year-old mm-hmm. woman. Nah. Who you have never got nothing on this man. The 28-year-old. 28. The 28-year-old. The 28-year-old who got arrested. But the thing about it is that they live with his 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 girlfriend's daughter. That is... That the... Uh, Wow. That's a lot of years. <laughs> <laughs> that is, right? That's insane. Oh, man. That's insane. So, I mean, you are the pine of the week, sir. Man, I mean, you cannot bad. be dating somebody. That's almost 70 years. Yeah. That's almost 70 years. Yeah, man. So, that's like 62 years or something like that. It's not, that's not, that's yeah. no, that's <laughs> no bueno. Like, wow, that's in the whole. Boy, where they do that at? Man, that's in the whole nother. Man. That's in the nother. Like that lady was older than my grandfather would have been <laughs> right now today if he was alive. Now like, mind you, I'm thirty. Like, like wow. I'm like, not dating. She, I'm not dating like, someone. She was born and, like 1907. I didn't even think so. about it. She probably doesn't even know how to like, type on a computer. She was at the beginning of the century. <laughs> <laughs> she's ancient. Like she's at the beginning of. The, she was like, alive when King now. Tut was around. Like, if you were born in 19 oh anything, you've seen everything. Wow, she was born in the first 15 years of the of the existence. I mean, we don't mean to talk about a lady, yeah, but, but wow. I mean, I mean, when you just look at the age difference, what's but going on? It's interesting though because Showtime had a, 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 a little a little series they ran about dudes who um, like older women and and and, and then they get you this, a sugar mama. They had this guy on it, man. <laughs> and this guy had a it, actually. Well, the series was about fetishes, and it just so happened to have this episode about this exactly. one guy that just so happened loves oh, older oh. women, and it's like crazy. 60, 70 years older than him. Like, and he's on the show, it's he's disgusting. Kiss, kissing him in the mouth, yeah. and like making now, and, no bueno. and it's like, and he looking, he like this dude is like thirty two years old, like, like. And they're like, he makes me feel so young. <laughs> like, come on. Stop it. Time out. Flag, flag, flag on the play. Flag on the play. Flag on the play. What are you doing? Unnecessary roughness. Stop it. That's <laughs> terrible. You don't do that. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, man. man. You're getting my head down. Oh, oh, oh man. man. So, Mr. Thomas Stanley, man. if you're watching this, Poo-poo you are platter. the kind poo-poo platter. Man. Give yourself a woman. Go ahead and go get yourself a woman. Ooh, You're dating your bladder, grandmother. Cuz great so, grandmother. So I think that wraps it up for part one. Man. Of volume nine. That was an awesome part one. It was, volume but we nine, coming man. back. Man, yeah, but we all We're coming we, back. Oh man, I guess we I guess we forgot to tell y'all We're about the avalanches back. though. 
We got about an avalanche. We, I, we, we might as well get it in since we here, because it's our show. We do what we want. So, we're going to come back. We're still coming back, but we do want to tell y'all about the avalanche, because it was some avalanches in Kabul. Okay. Which is, um, the, you know, the capital of Afghan. So. Y'all see, I was trying to end the show. It's like 100 people. Got killed. I mean, I'm just saying, I'm just, I just, I just think we let y'all know. So we supposed to report that news. We did want to report and that news. We, we forgot to report that news. We talk about news. the avalanche. So, so we had to talk about the avalanche because you know it ain't really a lot of people. In nine about minutes, avalanches. something big is going down in DC as well. <laughs> yeah. So, so we gotta get this show popping. Man, <laughs> it is nine weeks. It, huh? I mean, nine, nine minutes. Nine huh? minutes. Nine minutes. Nine minutes. Shout out to Miss Bowser. Miss Bowser. We're going to get back to we'll call her. what are we talking we'll, about. I'm going to call her Miss Bowser. Shout out to Miss Bowser. The teams are going in Jamaica, too. Shout out to the Rosters, too. Yeah, the Rosters, too. You know, shout out to the Rosters. <laughs> you know, big, but, big up big up to the D.C., man. Big up to the D.C. The D.C. Master? Mm, <laughs> D.C. Big, big, up, big, up to, big up to the D.C. <laughs> big up to the D.C. That was okay, Papa. Huh. Anywho, yeah, we're gonna get back to you guys. Hope you enjoyed this show. Um, we're coming back to you over part two. Part Don't two. miss it. We'll be we right back. And sports again before we leave. Get familiar, subscribe, follow, and listen. We out. Right, man. <laughs>